All right, all you crappies, welcome back. You asked for it, so here it is. The scented versus unscented jig challenge. So what do I got here is a one 30 second ounce jig, jig head with the uh, some sort of minnow plastic, lime green, crappie slider, Charlie Brewers. And I'm gonna rig up two rods with the exact same setup. I'm then going to spray one with the slop sauce from crappie.com and one I'm just gonna leave as a plain plastic. And we're gonna see which one catches more. Let's get to it. All right, so on my nine foot crappie hunter pole from Shakespeare, I'm going to spray on some of this slop sauce on the little minnow, lime green minnow paddle tail thing. Didn't have a name on the bag, so. Oh. There we go. So why I always have a towel in my boat. Okay. So now I'm gonna throw both over the edge. I'm gonna throw both of them as soon as I get this thing untangled. All right, so now I'm going to throw both of them over, do a little vertical jig style. Let's see which one comes up with the most fish tonight. Oop. What is that? No. How do I got a snag from vertical jigging? That doesn't make any sense. There we go. Got it out. I got a hit right away. Well, maybe I can't throw it over right over the side of the boat because there's a big brush pile there. That's where the crappie are. But it's also where I'm going to get snagged up. There's a fish on the slop sauce. Feels like a decent one, because it is a decent one. There we go. It's a solid start right there. Nice 10 inch fish. I'm gonna throw him back though. Oh, had another one of that. I'm the one without this, this sauce. All right, so I don't know how I'm gonna count this. One fish in the boat for the slop sauce, but I also have one bite on the non-slop sauce. But this also could be a test to uh, the actual bait itself. I don't know what they're called. I know they're Charlie Brewer, but I don't know what they're called. Oh, there's a fish on. Oh, cripes, I'm doubled up. Nope, I'm snagged on this one. I'm snagged on the slop sauce, and wow, that must've been a big fish. Oh no, I still got him. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. I'm thinking this is more of a testament to the actual jig itself. That's probably a 13 inch crappie right there. That's going in the box. And now I'm snagged again. Oh, come on. Come on. Felt like it came off there for a second. I don't want it to break off. It's gonna ruin my challenge. Knock it off, you log. All right, since I broke the one off and that's the only kind, I only have one of these ones. I went with the same style of bait, only it's a white and a chartreuse tail. everybody recording now? Good. Maybe I'm just hitting bottom. Oh, there's one. There's one in the slob sauce. He doesn't feel very big though. Oh, maybe he is. Never mind. Never mind. It's a decent sized fish right there. It's another... Uh, he's probably a ten and a half. So, what do I... What do I even have so far? I'm gonna have to look through the video. I think I got two on the slob sauce, one in the boat on the, 
no scent. And then I missed one on the no scent. I'm pretty sure that's what I got. So two to one with one miss. The misses are on me. Keep them, throw them back. I know there's some bigger ones in here now. I'm thinking that paddle tail effect as it floats down to the, or sinks down to the bottom, floats down to the bottom. It's not even a thing. Oh. It's slow in that, it's that slow drop. I think that triggers a nice bite. But you gotta be watching your line. There, oh. I couldn't tell. I think that was a bite. I think it was a miss on the scent. So I got two fish on the scent, one on no scent, and one miss on each. There, oh my goodness. Okay, two misses on the scent. There's one. There's one on the scent. You know, they're, they're decent fish. It's just, they're not as big as those last ones. Don't get me wrong, these are nice fish. And this is an 11-inch crappie. I'd take this every day. I just, there's some 14-inch down there. I know they're down there. All right, so three on the slop sauce. Three scented, two, two, Oh, wait, no, three to one, right? And then I got two miss on scented, one miss on non-scented. I should write this down. Good thing I got this on video, but this is gonna be a pain in the butt to look through. Look through all the footage just to get my numbers right. Oh, I got one. Oh, I had one on the non-scented. So that's uh, two misses on the non-scented. That one felt like a good fish too. It was right below the boat. I think I swung around here. Oh, there's one on the non-scented. Yep, yep, he's still there I think. Yep, he's still there. Oh, I was messing around with the non-scented. Oh no, he's still there. All right, got one on the scented too. They don't feel very big. Nope, they're not. Well, that one counts. I was messing with my drag. So I got four scented, three, three unscented. There's one on the scent. Not a big one, uh-oh. Lost the school, that ain't good. What in the world? There's one on the scent. But I lost the big, this doesn't feel very, eh. Not what I thought he'd be. Eight incher. There's one. Scented. I think there's a six on the scent. That's a decent one. That one, I'm, since I'm not catching these, uh, oh these 14s anymore. I'm going to throw this one in the live well because I don't know where they are. It's about a 10 and a half inch fish right there. He'll still eat pretty good. Oh, we got one on the unscented too. A little bit smaller. It's about a nine inch or nine and a half. He'll go back. I'm gonna have to really go through these vi these video clips because I have no idea where I'm at right now. I think I'm at six to six to four maybe. Uh, unscented, unscented again. Tiny, tiny, tiny fish. This is not even a six-inch crappie.
Why do I have my towel back there? I should really just keep this in my side. Unscented again. So I get him. Oh no, that's a miss on the unscented one. Oh, there's one on the scented. Oh, I'm in the wrong school. There we go. There's one on the scented. Oh, nine inch fish. Ouch. And got the hook in the hand. Oh, he's probably about an eight inch actually. There's a good one. That's a good fish on this unscented. Feels like one anyway. There we go. Uh, nine and a half. No thanks. All right, next fish, whichever one, and then I'm done. Actually, I, I should be fair and have a rebuttal for the one that doesn't catch one, but I want to go bass fishing. There's one on the, on the crappie sloths. Not very big, though. Nope. He's a dink. Another one for the unscented, but just not the class I want. Oh, there he is. Come on, be a decent fish here. No, it's not. Oh well. All right, that is going to end it for me. I think the the last two fish, one of each on the scented versus the unscented. So, if you like these videos, these kind of challenge videos, smash that like button. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, at the end of the video, you see my face holding a crappie, you click on that to subscribe, and below the video. Appreciate you watching. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time.